What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos and if you remember at the end of the last episode I put in the Halo lines which are actually losing us a lot of money right now but that's going to change and before I deal with that let me just pause it, it's November 30th we have 1.2 million but before I deal with the Halo lines because I think they are going to pick up money, look at that this one's full for God's sake so it's only a matter of time before that starts building money but now, look up here, look at all this fuel we got building up, and also, yeah, a lot of food building up. So, I'm going to put a train line in between Grapeseed and Polito Bay, but first, I just want to see what the problem is here, because we're bringing plenty of oil down. Where are we getting the oil from? I can't even remember where that's coming from. Um, where's the oil? Uh... Do you know, I really cannot remember where that's coming from. Uh, I'll find it now. <laughs> it shows how long since I've played with this line, don't it? Um, oh, my, there's me going completely blind. There's me thinking, I thought we had two fuel processing plants. Of course, the oil's right by there, isn't it? Right. Uh, hang on, why have we got fuel at the oil plant? That's what threw me off. Right, what's coming in here? So we got fuel waiting for grapeseed fuel, that's kind of fair enough. Uh, okay. Right, I think we need more vehicles on Polito fuel and Sandy fuel. So let me just chuck those on. In fact, I'm going to pop a depot in down by here. I mean, why not? So what I want is a road depot. And yeah, that'll do. This just this one. And let's stick it by here. Like that, lovely jubbly. Right, so what I say, Polito fuel and Sandy fuel. So, how many vehicles have we got on this? Sandy fuel, Polito fuel, vehicles, a fair bit, quite a fair bit, and you even more. But somehow it's not enough, right, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set you all on Polito fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set you all on Sandy fuel. There you are. Right, hopefully that'll deal with that now. Uh, there's a lot of fuel over here. Where's that fuel going? all on the same lines, so we've kind of dealt with that. We could probably put five more on grapeseed fuel. So, oh, that's the vehicle, I want the depot. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, we spent most of our money. We spent nearly a million. Wow. Jeez, they're quite expensive, they are. That's not good, because now we haven't got much money left. Uh, Right, you, I'm thinking, what trains are you? What are you? Uh, right, they've only got four carriages, so... Hmm, I doubt we're going to have enough to upgrade this. I'm going to keep the general, and I'm going to put... How much is the mogul, actually? Mm, that's too expensive. Right, we want tank cars. One, two, three, four, five. How much is that going to be? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Wow. Right. Okay. So, what are you? A general with four. I'm just going to stick another train on for now until we start making the big money. And then I'll just have to upgrade that line or something. That hit eight and a half million dollars. Wow. Uh, right, we want... Oh, we're not even going to have enough for this. Okay, let's just put that to the side. We'll leave that alone for now. What I want to do, I want to work out some kind of way to put a train line between this food processing plant and Polito Bay with the, uh, no sorry, this is the farm then and this is the food processing plant up here. How am I going to do this? Um, oh, my mouse wheel is still being weird. Right, obviously quickest way and the best way for a train station in would be here on the other side of the road to the plant 
but then we have to somehow get the tracks over the road, over these tracks, and into a station over here, and that's not going to be easy. And that is going to be expensive as well. Um, I don't think we've got any more loan left, have we? I doubt it. No. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, one platform would be fine. 120 plus 200. No, I don't want a second street connection. I might have a curvature. Other way. Only a little one. Right. Uh, where would be a good way to put this? Hmm. Uh, probably like that. That's most of our money gone already. Right, how on earth are we going to get this up and over these tracks? This is going to be ridiculously expensive, is the word I'm looking for. Uh, how are we going to do this? Yeah, 300,000, I don't think so. Hang on. Let me try something. I'm going to turn the camera. And I'm going to try and make it easier to put the junction in down here. So if I go like that, I want this level. Oh wow. Jesus. Okay. And then I want just a little bit of track here. I am literally making this up as I go along. I had no idea it was going to be this difficult. And that like that. And we are out of money. And here comes 500,000 debt. December is going to be the worst because we're going to have like 300,000 loan payment. That's going to be ridiculous. Right, how are we going to get over here? Like, seriously, I don't know. I really do not know. Um, that would be the obvious technique to go like that and then try and bridge over. But that's how much? $173,000. And that's just for the one side. And then, I don't even know if that'll be high enough to clear it. I doubt it. 220,000. This is... Yeah. This is going to be expensive. We're probably not even going to be able to afford this before the end of the year either. That I'm not looking for. Oh, actually, yeah, we can. Right, as we go through the new year, we're going to be... We're going to have no money, essentially. But I'm going to see if I can find a way to put, or at least get it to work. So I don't want it uphill. Uh, new year, nothing. No new vehicles. No. Nope. It. Hmm. That's not really. Like that's pretty much the only way that's going to happen. Um. Hmm. <laughs> such a big gap to span that's the problem we need to get a road and the rail under there and we can't have a pillar in the middle which is what the game will try and do because that gap is just way too narrow I suppose I could try and put it so it's going across the tracks but then that would involve removing the road so we'd break our most profitable line and that's not something we can afford to do at the moment this is not good um, how are we doing? Are the halo lines coming back at all? Uh, where are they? Down here. One of them is, the other isn't. What's wrong with you? You're not broken, are you? No, you're working. You've just paid, so you're definitely working. Uh, right, what about the other one? So, the red line. Vehicles. We only got two trains on. We need to improve that. So, all of the lines are working fine. It's just going to take a while for them to set in, and now is like a critical time because we haven't got any money. So if these don't set in quick, I have no idea what we're going to, going to do. And look at the frequency, 13 minutes. I think after we get this food line in, we're going to have to spend a lot of time and effort just making this profitable. Um, because we're going to have to put more trains on. We're probably going to have to buy faster trains soon. It's not good. Right. If I was to 
do this? How would... Yeah, see, that's not good. The speed is terrible, and it won't get downhill fast enough. And I don't exactly want to dig into the hillside that much, either. Hang on. If I close this and reset it, it's because it was going level, the track. What if we put a downhill curvature on it? Like, I can... I could... I suppose I could deal with 60 miles an hour. That's not going to be nice. I'm going to have to smooth this hill side off. Which side did that come out of? The left side, that's alright. If it was coming out this side of the track, then, yeah, we'd have issues because it would not clear that, I doubt. Right, 200,000, in you go. Now I've got to get you down to join onto there. That is good enough. Not the best line in the world, but at the moment we're going for efficiency more than style. Now I've got to double track this all the way down, so let me do that and I'll bring you back in a moment. Okay guys, I hope you liked that little time lapse I decided to put in, and we've got the Mogul, and um, the only reason I bought this is because we, basically the general, you can't get it no more, we've gone past this uh, date, but these are awesome trains, I think this is the first time we used a Mogul in this series, these truck cars are pretty nice as well, look at them, the Virginia and Truckee, that is actually pretty awesome, let me just turn this down a little bit, it's quite loud. We need to smooth that off between the rails, obviously, but I put in this line, I modified a few of our road vehicle lines, and the best thing of all, the halo lines are now making us a lot of money. The uh, clockwise one is making us $640,000, and the anti-clockwise one is making 401 k <laughs> And that is pretty, pretty spectacular. What's losing us money at the moment? LS Vinewood, I'm guessing the Grapeseed Food Train will lose us a lot of money to, like, to start off with. 
that which is exactly why I'm going to leave in this line, the grapeseed food line, until that kind of settles in and starts making a profit, hopefully. Right, there is one thing I wanted to show you, so let me just hop off that train a little bit. I can close that now. The bridge, you'll probably see in the time lapse that I had a lot of trouble with these bridges. I don't know why they just kept giving me bridge pillar collisions, so I put in two parallel bridges, and I think it actually looks really awesome, especially the fact that they're steel box girder bridges. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen a picture of LA, but by the docks, here comes the train, by the docks there is a set of bridges, and they're just like this, and I think it looks absolutely awesome crossing this highway. Like, that looks amazing. I'm, pr I'm pretty pleased with that, i got to be fair. Look how much we're getting already. That's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm just debating whether to put another train on there. Did you drop anything off then? I doubt it, but it's possible. There's a similar way to find it. Uh, it might have. I'm not sure. Let's check the station. Uh, nothing there yet. Let's just make sure it's in range. It should be. It's right opposite. Yes, it's in range. It's just going to take a minute to pick it up. And the plan is that the train will pick uh, cows up. It can only carry cows because it's boxcars, so the corn will stop making. And it'll carry the cows up here to Polito, where, let's just check this is in range. Again, it should be, yep. It will change it to food here at the processing plant. Some of it will go to Polito Bay from this station here. You can see that's already happening. And some of it, well most of it hopefully, will be put back on the train, shipped all the way down here, and then at this tr ooh, I don't know if the truck thing's in range, it should be, yep, just, you can see that the range, which is this white, bar, white part, comes to halfway at the station, it should be in range. It will then get picked up by Central Food, Grapeseed, LS Food, and Sandy Food, because of course we're getting rid of this line. So that, how many vehicles are on you? I think it's like 75 or something like that. Where is it? 73 vehicles. We'll get a nice chunk of money when we sell them. I think that will be awesome. This should work though. It really should. I'm hoping it will. Please work. <laughs> God. Ah, oh, this better work. I'm just waiting for something to go to the station. I want to see it working. Uh, no, still nothing. Let me turn some of these icons off. In fact, let's just turn all of them off, except these ones. You can even put the up arrows off. Yeah, that looks so much better. This game is beautiful. Uh, that's going to drive me mad, so i got to fix this. This road needs to be connected. Like that. That'll be fine. Ooh, that's a good point. Grapeseed has grown quite a bit. I doubt the bus that services will be covering most of the area. What's, where's the grapeseed food lines? Food passenger lines. I sorted it by name. So it'll be RP. Why is the RF there on its own? Oh no, I sorted it by profit, didn't I? Duh. So RP. Uh, where's grapeseed? Can you see grapeseed? Am I blind or is there no grapeseed? E G L N. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it's the Calafia lines, isn't it? Ah, ha, 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 there, that's why. Uh, there they are. Calafia 1, Calafia 2. I think it's time to put in Grapeseed's own little bus services. Trams are tempting, but I don't think I'm going to go for trams just yet. So I'm going to put a few bus stops, that's train. Bus stops. I'm going to have one out by here. Going to have one over here to cover this area. Going to have one over... Oh, no, I can't place it there. Oh, is there a bus stop there? I bet there's a bus stop there. Uh, bus stop. Yeah, so we'll go to that one. Let me leave the bus stops on for a minute while I put this in. Then we can use that one. Where's the train station in Grapeseed? It's right by there. Uh, let me put one there then. And we can, uh, we can use that one. And then let's have one there. And let's have one there, I think. So we want two lines. One, two. Line one is going to go from... Let's start at the station. There, there, there. Right, let's make them colours we can actually see. So this one, 
red and this one is ultra blue I do love that color that is an awesome color right that should make a difference I hope look at that we got two and a half million um how's the fuel situation uh which icon would that be under uh, I don't actually know stations yep okay something needs to be done here it really does right how are we gonna fix this the lines are a mess let me just bring up the lines that would be a good start one two three four and are there any lines we haven't got nope right this is a just <laughs> it's a mess so we need to sort this out right where are the, all the lines going so all of them are going north so except Ron transfer right so the oil fuel back to oil right here's what we're gonna do what stations this here Sandy Shores South go go and go and here how many vehicles have we got not that many right okay I put a depot down here, didn't I? I just remembered that. Right, here, buy vehicles. Road vehicles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25 should be sufficient. And all of you are going to go on, where is it? Ron Oil Transfer. Yep, there you go. So now, oh, I should not have closed that. Damn, wrong little transfer. All of the fuel, instead of getting put in this station, this station here, all of it is going to be, the oil is going to be transferred only on this line, and then it's going to be transferred back, and they're going to pick it up from here, or at least that is the plan. Uh, let's see if this, yeah, see, now it's put all the fuel on one line. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Right, now, trains. We need to deal with the trains. Um, it's going to be so expensive. I'm just wondering whether I'd be better off upgrading, or would I be better off... Uh, upgrades are so expensive, though. Would I be better off just putting a single train on there for now until we got so much money? Um, we got three trains on there, all with four wagons. And if I was, I'd want something good, so how much are they? 900,000. And I want tank cars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 7. And how much would that be? See, that's 12 million. Like, we got a lot of money, but not that much. Um, right, I think we'd be best off. Our main line is the halo line, or both the halo lines. How are they doing now? I think our best bet would just be to upgrade the halo lines. What was losing us a huge amount of money then? Great sea fuel, food. I was kind of expecting that. Have we got anything there waiting? Why? I know why. Damn it. I, I did. Yeah, I put passenger freaking stations in. Of course I did, because obviously I can't do anything freaking right. Damn it. I bet a lot of you were screaming at me then. Some of you was just like, Nick, put a freaking station in. Uh, right, what was it? One, sta one station, one platform, 200 metres. Uh, I want a terminal. Terminal, that one. What's the difference between these two? I'll use that one. And turn it round. I'm pretty sure this was a 200 meter. There. Make sure the line connected. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I can close that now. Right, at the other end, because I'm a complete idiot. Some of you will have noticed that and be like, Ugh! Right. Try this again, shall we? Freight station. Uh, 320, so it would be 120 plus 200, one track with a plus one curvature, 
That was a pretty stupid thing to do. I think it's time for me to admit that. Right. Now, play. Jesus. I'm glad I noticed that, i got to be fair. It was bang to happen eventually. It's just, I was looking at it thinking, hang on. Why are we not getting any money? And Any money? Any, yeah, well, yeah, any money off it, I suppose. Right, halo lines. We need to do something about this, because we've got passengers building up. Are there any down here? Yeah, even at this station, we've got passengers building up. We need to do something about this. So, I get, again, I bet this is going to be amazingly expensive. Right. How much red land is? 1.7. How much moguls? 970. Uh, what's top speed? 47. So we don't need nothing too extreme. That'll do. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4? Yep, 4. Oh, auto save. Come on. 2.7. Oh, we're nearly there. We're going to get this. Okay guys, so we're getting close to being able to upgrade the anti-clockwise halo line. I've already done this one. I, same train, same carriages, I just put twice the capacity on so it can now carry 128 I believe it is. Uh, yep, yeah, 128 and you can see they're nearly full. That one's, one of them's just unloaded. But yeah, it's full so that was definitely the right thing to do. And we, you can also see the train has started carrying stuff now so let me just upgrade this. Yep, $2.9 million. Did it do it? I think it did. Yep. So, let's follow one of these. I mean, we got to. Basically got to. We're going to pass the food train as well. And after this, I'm going to deal with the food train. You'll see exactly what I mean in a moment. There it is. Under these lovely bridges. Let's go first person under the bridges. I do love these bridges. Passing another train. Ah, it's going in the ground, isn't it? Ah, well. You'll get a picture. It's upgrading twice capacity. Right, what do I mean by deal with this train? Well, ooh, do I put another one on first or do I let this... Because how much is this on this train station now? Um, a fair bit, 47. Not quite a full load. What I want to do... Uh, it's a, such a tough decision, though. What I was going to do was basically tell every single vehicle, all 73 of them, to go to the depot and be sold. The problem is, if for whatever reason this line breaks or can't handle it, like, we're done for. We are done for. Because that is our main line at the moment. We are making good profits on other lines, but that is the main line. And I did tell you mine, the Halo line would come good, and it has. But do, do I take that step? My, my main issue with that is what happens to all this when I get rid of it? I can't imagine just delete, so would it just stay there forever? Right, let's see if we can find a solution. So grapeseed sidings. Um, what does that do? No, that just tells it where to go. Ooh. Unload only. No, we want pickup only. Is there a way to stop the, the uh, what's this called, the farm, God, I couldn't think what I was called then, delivering to grapeseed sidings? And I don't think there is. I think we're just going to have to go for it. And I suppose now is as good a time as any. Ah, uh, this is nervous. I am nervous. How's the tr oh, did not mean, I did not mean to open that. I cannot speak right now. Um, how's the train doing? See, it's only carrying six back. But if we force it to carry more, then it should. Right, screw it. We're going to do it. This. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to backfire so bad. Right, you. All of you. Ah, do I do it? Uh, go to them and be sold. Right, we did it. We're screwed if this don't work. Oh god, we should get a sudden influx of cash though from sending all those vehicles. And now the halo lines are our carrying lines. So if we break them, we're done. <laughs> Basically. Uh, I'm not sure I should have done that. Oh, at least all the food's gone. All of these vehicles now. Every single one of them. 
go into the depot to be sold. Right, this, uh, whatever the word is, passenger, no, not passenger, this depot, why did I put it there? I could have put this way over here and it would have worked just fine. Why did I put it here? I can't remember. Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to move that, if we can. We need a big one, really. Um, large truck station. I want to put it in here, but it's going to cost a lot knocking down these houses. Let's put it adjacent to the train station. So, let's turn it around a tad. 300,000. We could afford it. Yeah, let's go for it. Right. You, 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 and you. Instead of going to Grapeseed Side Inns, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. Why is it going to the same? Uh, let's go Terminal 1 for you. And Grapeseed... No, Sandy Food. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, after Grapeseed Side Inns, go here. And why are you all going into the same stop? Uh, let's go into two. Now they all got their own little stop, so there's no clashing. And I'm going to leave, which one was it? Grapeseed food in the same place. So, grapeseed side ins, go, go, and go. And I'm guessing what this means is that all the. F oh, there's nothing here. I was going to say all the food will end up going on to Great Sea Food, but there is absolutely nothing there, so... Oh well. Look at all the cows here already. We need a new train on here. Like, that is number one priority, obviously. So, I want a... What was we using? A Baldwin? I think we were using a Baldwin. Uh, Great Sea Food. That is... Yeah, that's a Baldwin. So, depot, by trains, I want a Baldwin, and I want, was it five or six? One, two, three, four, f oh, out of money, of course, why not? Gripsy food, why does it close the depot when I do that? I've never noticed that before. Right, we got five. So, by trains, I think they're quite expensive, the box cards. I think they're like half a million each. Yeah, they are, 579,000. Oh, not quite enough. There you go. And uh, we need one more. All right, and there you go. That's the last one. I edited it out briefly just because we ran out of money. We went for a new month. Oh, this fuel situation over here. But now this train. Did I put it on the line? I bet I didn't, did I? No, of course not. <laughs> Good job I thought of that. Close that. And... Right. Oh, we need to deal with this. At least there's no fuel weight in here, that's a good thing. Oh wow. Oh that's a lot of vehicles. Um, yeah, we need to do something about that traffic jam. That is a large station. Right, I got a plan. I have a plan because I'm amazing. <laughs> Bit egotistical, but you know. Right, let's pop you, let's turn you around a tad like that. Let's pop you in opposite, and here, oil transfer, so after Sandy Shore South, you are going to go to there, and then back, so that's fine, and Grapeseed Fuel, you, instead of going to Grapeseed Halt, no, Sandy Shore Central, you are going to go there, and I'm going to stop you going there. Now we split the fuel a little bit more and we have less build up. Right. As for. That looked a lot more than it was then. Right. As for the train line, how are we going to deal with this? Seriously. Um, how much is this line making? Where is it? TF Cypress Fuel. It's got three trains. It's not even full, that's the weird thing. Oh, one's going back, probably. Uh, 247,000. 
One, two, three, four. What if we put five on? Now how much? 10.6 million. What train is that? That's the general. I don't want a general. I want a... What about a Baldwin? Now how much? 9.75. We're getting it down. It's pointless upgrading it with just four because then we're not increasing the capacity. And the problem is I can't stick another train on there because we just lost the general. I'm pretty sure... I shouldn't have closed that. I'm pretty sure these are generals. Yeah, they are. Generals were the old... Although saying that, how much... Right. So 28 divided by 4, that's 7. They can carry 7, right? How much can these new ones carry? Uh, 12. So that's 5 more capacity. That would make a difference. So what if we just upgraded with 4? 8 million. Okay, we're not going to do that right now because obviously we can't afford it. But I think that should be our main goal. To upgrade that. Uh, we got a train here. So, what are these? I can't even remember what these are. Moguls. I want to put another train on the halo lines in each direction. So, by trains, how much were the moguls? We haven't even got enough for two. Well, we have just. Right, one. And clear story cars. One, two. No, not enough money thing is we need to buy two so four cars at half a million each that's two million so we're looking at three million per train set so we need like six million to put two trains on um, but it doesn't have to be even we can have three on one line four on the other that would work it's not elegant but it would work and then just when we got enough money check it on the other line yeah I think I'm gonna do that so I need to get another million to upgrade but look how fast the money's coming up like seriously that's faster than it's been on this series before it's weird i'm always more successful on my series when i'm not recording them it's just annoying that's karma in it look at that we're making a million and 1.46 million on the halo lines so it is working and we're going to put this train on and just buy that carriage we're going to put it on Halo CW clockwise because it's for some reason making more money. So let's hope that's because, that's just, just hope it's a trend that continues. Because if that's a more successful line, I'm going to do whatever I can to make it even more successful. And then when we got enough money, I'll just chuck one on the anti-clockwise anti line. Look like Grapeseed Food is making 1.25 million near enough. So, yeah, we're doing well, guys. We are doing well. What's losing money? Central food. Uh, why are you not carrying anything? Uh, there's the right vehicles in it, yeah. Steam lorries. Okay, I'm going to have to go have a look at that in a minute. It's not carrying a single thing. Same with South Vinewood, Vinewood Fuel. Right, so we need to have a look at them. Right, last car. So which line do I say this going on? The clockwise line. Yeah. So one and a half million, that's making us now. Let's see if we can get that up a bit more. Out goes the new train. Oh, why have you stopped there? Waiting for a free path? Yep. Yeah. Um, that probably means there's a train coming. Yep, yeah, there it is. So that will go out in a moment. Right, why are you not carrying anything? Um... There's stuff waiting there for it. Perhaps the trucks haven't reached the depot yet. Let's have a look. Is it carrying anything now? Yeah. Now it's... No. Was that... Uh, yeah. Right, that's all it was. It just needed a bit of time. Right, what about you? What's wrong with you? South Vinewood Fuel. That's quite a long line for five vehicles. So... You go from there, where do you go? You go to this stop here. What is in the area? No, it is covering some commercial and uh, some industrial. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that. 
Is it carrying anything? Uh, yes, no. I'm guessing it just needs time for the vehicles again. I don't know, I'm going to have to go around offline and check a lot of these lines. We have got three lines making over a million though, that is something to be proud of. Uh, how's the grape seed food like? We need more vehicles, jeez. Wow, that's unexpected. We haven't got much food, oh it's just picked up, are you full? No. Okay, so it's carrying more there going one way than it is the other. That's unusual. Not much waiting here though. 25. I think that's just a matter of time. I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time. God, look at... Seriously, I know the train station, we're going to deal with that soon. But this really needs to come down. Like, seriously, it does. Um... What can we do though? We could add more vehicles, but I'm not sure that's the solution. Huh. What could we do to remedy that? I mean, all more vehicles would do is add more congestion, and I doubt we can upgrade this road anyway. It's worth a shot, but I doubt it. No. No. I can't exactly just knock it down. Well, I suppose I could. It's only colliding with this stop, I think. Is that really worth it, though? I don't think it is. Nah. Um, I think we're just going to have to wait until we get some better trucks, because putting more on there would just create congestion. Look, how, look at all these cows. 420. Wow. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure that platform's full. Yeah, we need more. We need another train on there. Oh, by the way, did you like what I did with a depot? I think that looks really cool for it behind the edge of the platform there. It looks just like a station building a little bit. Uh, Mogul, no, Baldwin. We have Baldwins on here. And one, two, three. No, not quite enough. Three. Come on. The money always builds up when you don't need it and won't build up when you need it, don't it? Right, pop that last freight car on and after this train goes by, let's pop this on grapeseed food. And I must say, this is an astonishing view down here. With the track going in the tunnel, this road going under the bridge, this bridge itself, and Mount Chiliad. Like, say what you want about this game, but you can't argue that some of the views you can get are absolutely awesome. Like, let me just show you this. So, this view over the Alamo Sea from Grape Sea, that's amazing. And the cities as well. Let me just ride on one of you. A little bit of first person. Look at the city. You just cannot say this game isn't beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that tree. And like the avenues, tree-lined avenues with the white bark. Like, yeah, the frame rates are a bit slow. Oh, forgot to mention, I oh, are you're going to love this, guys. This is one of the main reasons I'm keeping this series going, because, as we know, I haven't got much time on my hands. But the developers of this game, I can't remember what they're called, are releasing two patches this month. One of them is, like, just a small patch, and then they're going to release a big patch which is going to deal with performance. So in first person mode through the city I'm getting about 16 frames a second now. In fact it's steady 16. So after this patch I'm going to have a first person ride through the city and we're going to check my frame rates and we're going to see exactly how much it improves it. But either way this game is absolutely beautiful. It really is. I just love this game. And the money is really rocking up now. It really is. Let's just turn the camera around. Uh, let's look at our lines. In fact, let's look at our populations. We haven't done that in a while. So our biggest town is Los Santos. That's not really surprising. Followed by Del Perro and Vinewood. So right here is the biggest area by a very long way. Uh, Sandy Shores, 999. What a number. 
And then we got Grapeseed, 881, you know what that looks like. Uh, Cypress Flats and La Mesa come in on our list then. So that's this down here. Then is Stab City, which is here. That's actually grown quite a lot. I love the way it's grown along the riverbank as well. That's amazing. And then we've got Chumash, which is here. And once again, grown up the hillside. And look at all the buildings around the train station. That's awesome. It really is awesome. Look at that. Imagine living near the view you'd get. That would be so awesome. Like steam trains shooting past your window. Boats. We haven't done boats in this series. That's something we need to do. But yeah, that's awesome. The view looking over the ocean. And then we got Polito Bay. Polito Bay is actually the third smallest. That's a bit of a surprise. Looking at it as well. But that's going to grow. And then we got Elysian Island, which is all the way down here. It's not really surprising. That's second to last. I love this dock area, though. I'm so glad I spent the time putting this in. That looks awesome, don't it? Don't you think? I think that looks absolutely beautiful. And then, last but... Well, least. Last but least. I suppose not least. Uh, we have North Chumash, which is just this little thing. I'm not really surprised that's a small town. But either way, this game's awesome. Right, we've got 2.4 million. I think, guys, this would be... How long have we been recording? An hour and 12 minutes. Obviously, some of it's going to get cut out in time-lapse. But this is an awesome place to leave it here. In the next episode, I have no idea when it's going to be. I do apologise for that. I'm hoping I'm uploading every Wednesday. That's my target. Whether that will come to fruition, I don't know. But either way, I will see you then. And next episode, we will be... We're going to try and get this fuel line done. We're going to be doing a bit more work on the Halo lines. And just generally looking around, seeing how amazing this game is. A few other little bits and bobs here and there. I'm going to save up some money between this episode and the next. So make sure you come back for that. And, ooh, I just noticed this. That looks awesome, the way the tunnel's under there. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.